If you want to replace the tires on your bicycle and you're looking for a budget-friendly option which still offers some puncture resistance, you've probably come across the Continental Contact Tires. They're a great option which cost about $20 each. I paid 40 euro for the set and I've been using these tires for the past month and I've done a few hundred kilometers, few hundred miles on them and I've gotten to like them very much. And I think they're great tires, but they are not for everybody. They serve me well on my commute, but whether or not it serves you well, uh, well, you're gonna find it out uh, from this review. The first thing that I noticed when I picked up these tires after the Schwalbe Marathon Plus is just how light these tires were compared to those. And these tires are light indeed, uh, which still offer some puncture resistance. They're not racing tires. You're not going to win races with this. You're not going to go super fast. These are for uh, commuting and city riding. So they're, if you want to ride at a comfortable pace, uh, but you want some puncture resistance, these are good tires. The lightness and the weight saving is noticeable when it comes to how nimble you are and how agile you are on the bicycle. So if you want to uh, avoid potholes and uh, weave around cars, then these are super uh, good tires. They're also really comfortable. These are the 32 millimeter version and I run them at 80 to 85 PSI and I find them uh, really comfortable. They absorb a lot of the road buzz. They're also very quiet. So that's another thing that I like about these tires. I found mounting these tires not very difficult. It took me a few minutes to mount each of these tires. Uh, it was definitely a lot easier than the Schwalbe Marathon Plus, um, but I still had to use my tire levers. I wasn't able to mount them with my bare hands. I know some people succeeded doing that, uh, but I also heard of some people who had uh, who found it really difficult to mount these tires. I think it has a lot to do um, with the rim diameter and rims can differ slightly in size and if your rim is just a slightly bit bigger then you're going to have a harder time putting them on. But also the fact that these are wire bead tires uh, means that these are always going to be more difficult to mount than the folding tires. I think they also come in folding version but I'm not exactly sure but I think they come in a folding version and that is definitely going to be easier to mount. I also love the reflective sidewalls of the tire because then uh, you can be seen from further away by motorists who come uh, from the side. I'm a big fan of the re reflective sidewalls. You can also get it in the non-reflective version which is a little bit cheaper but I don't think it's worth the savings. I find that these tires offer plenty of grip uh, whether you run on dry roads or on wet roads, I felt safe and I felt confident leaning into corners. And the tread pattern offers uh, a really, really good grip in all kinds of weather conditions. And, and I think this is even grippier to an extent than the Schwalbe Marathon Plus that I tried before. Uh, so that's a big plus. Also, I did the skidding test and to my surprise, after skidding three times with each of my tires, this one shows no signs of wear. This is a big plus to me. It could be that the compound is a little bit uh, more durable or a bit harder. I don't know what it is, but uh, I, I cannot detect where these tires skidded uh, during the test. When it comes to puncture resistance, this tire offers some puncture resistance but it's not a bulletproof tire. So this is where you have to think about where you're going to ride it. If you are going to ride it mostly on paved roads and there are no debris and thorns on your way, this is going to be an excellent tire because it has a puncture protective layer. It's a Kevlar belt built into the tire, but it doesn't have a thick puncture resistant surface or a puncture resistant belt built into it uh, so once the object has penetrated through the surface of the tire chances are uh, that it's going to uh, reach the inner tube and it's going to puncture it but having said that i didn't have problems with punctures 
I ran over some potholes and I uh, rode the bike on cobble roads. So no problems there. If your ride involves mostly paved roads with you know, the occasional potholes and curbs, this is going to be just fine. But if you have uh, thorns or goat heads or sharp glass on your commute or on your, uh, on your rides, then you're going to be better off with something that is a bit more heavy duty. The durability of this tire is really good. And I say this after a month, I know, but uh, I did some research and some people rode it for thousands and thousands of miles. And uh, this, this lasted them uh, a long, long time. Again, it depends if you ride it mostly on its intended surface, which is, which is city roads, it's going to last a very long time. The price of this tire is also very appealing for $20 each. They're a really, really nice option. Uh, similar price range is the Continental Ride Tour, which I reviewed in a previous video and you can check out here. I really love that tire too. I use it for several years and had no problems whatsoever. I think those offer even a little bit more puncture resistance uh, than this one. But if you want to go uh, a little bit higher in the puncture resistance scale, you can take a look at the Schwalbe Marathon or the Continental uh, Contact Plus or even the Schwalbe Marathon Plus. That is going to be like a bulletproof tire. Uh, I reviewed that too earlier and I'm going to compare all of the tires that I'm reviewing. This is part, this video is a part of a, of a series of several videos where I compare the best commuter tires and I'm going to make a big comparison video at the end and once it's ready it's going to be also linked up here in the info button or in the info card. So. If you like this kind of content, if you want to get into bike commuting or if you're a bike commuter, you can follow me on this channel. And if you like this kind of content, then give it a thumbs up and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Pedal on. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>